It's just it's incredible, anxious, those images gosh. coming out of there. Yeah, and the thing that's so terrible about flooding is it just takes so long to clean up yep. from and for it to just recede, too, because mm -hmm. it needs the time to drain away. So, uh, yeah, our hearts go out to those people definitely, in there. Definitely true. Now, we have our own fair share of active weather. Okay. I don't think we're talking about the kind of rain totals that they've seen in the Central Plains, certainly. But we do have wet weather to track here, and there will likely be some rounds of heavy rain tonight. But it's scattered in nature, so not everyone's going to get hit by this. This is classic summertime weather, really, in the beginning of May. Let's take you outside, though. I want to show you here a view of what I had mentioned earlier in the show. This is a live look right now, guys, of Ocean City. Pretty evident that the the fog and the haze, it hasn't completely lifted just yet. So it is still a little dreary here in some of our shore towns, but it has definitely brightened up really nicely across most of the rest of the board at this point. So this is the one lone camera, at least of our slew of different neighborhood network cameras that we can show you that still has any hint of leftover cloud cover that's this low to the ground. Next, we go to storm scan three, though. At this point, not much to track in the wet weather department. We certainly do have a few clouds here and there. However, there's not much going on just yet precip wise until we see this next batch getting in here. So when this does make its arrival, you can see that it's got lots of moisture to draw from. So when it does come through, yes, it will be scattered rounds of showers and thunderstorms that come in here, but they are going to likely be quite heavy where they do come through and future weather shows us pretty well. The one change from earlier this morning is that it looks like this may get in here an hour early for some of the north and western counties, but let's time step this out for you. So Berks, Lancaster counties could be in the thick of things here as early as four o'clock. So after school activities, soccer practices, those kinds of things could be getting, you know, shortened in those areas. But once this gets to to us, uh, 6 p.m. right along I-95, not good. You know, so you, you got to keep that in the back of your head. If you're going to be out during this time frame, I would certainly keep an umbrella on standby. You don't want to get caught in this. And some of these storms, again, not just heavy downpours, but locally gusty as well. So we're going to have to keep a close monitor on these. But severe threat, thankfully, is relatively minimal here today. Now, moving forward beyond this point, we still have a pesky front that's meandering nearby and doesn't want to leave us alone. So that does mean that it's not just tonight that we have to deal with wet weather. Let's put our surface map into motion here. That's this evening's showers and storms. Then we sort of sit again, not necessarily between systems, but sit in a little bit of a dry spell for a good portion of tomorrow before another round of rain and thunderstorms comes in tomorrow night, especially. Then Saturday, brief break. Then another storm is on the move. This is the one that's finally going to shove this out of here, that front that we couldn't get rid of. So that will bring in fresh rounds of rain again as early as second half of Saturday, but especially on Sunday. So not ideal news for Sunday, for Cinco de Mayo, for any other plans you might have. Broad Street runners, we're talking to you. Keep it in mind and mentally prepare for the fact that you will probably need to dry off your sneakers or let them dry out at some point on Sunday once you're done with the race because it does look like rain's going to be with us at that point. It's a little cool, but milder than we were originally in anticipating at 62 degrees. That's the current call for the kickoff of the race. How about now? We are anywhere from nine to as many as 21 degrees warmer this hour than the same time yesterday. That up in Mount Pocono anyway equates to 70 degrees. It's warmer there than it is in Philly right now. We're at 68 in the city, at least at the airport. Pretty modest wind flow at this point, and it's generally a westerly wind flow. But once more, we do have the wet weather on the way. So sometimes looks can be deceiving. What you see at the moment here in Bethlehem may not be what it looks like come four five o'clock this evening. So keep that in mind. If you do have plans to go out, be on your guard just like you would in the summertime with an umbrella just to, on standby here. Tomorrow, also a very warm day. We start the cooling process heading into the weekend with that storm we talked about, and I'll quickly step out of the way just so you can see what's going on into the early days of next week because that's some good stuff. At this point, it looks like we're going to end up well back into not just milder territory, but in the sunshine for a couple of days. So it's unfortunate that I can't promise you totally dry weather for the next few days, but at least we do have warmth. The coolest day in this forecast is Sunday, and that actually is still generally seasonable. So that's a good thing.